finish up on my golf instructor out here in uh, Rio Salado Golf Course. And one of the things that I want to talk to you today about is the setup routine. And with the setup routine, there are a lot of things that some people do, there are idiosyncrasies that really can cause problems when they actually get up to hit the ball and they don't even realize it. So what I'm going to try to give to you is some sort of baseline idea of some of the things that you should be doing in your setup routine that can really help you remain consistent. Now the first thing that we're going to talk about is when does the, the setup routine actually start? And a lot of people believe that it actually starts from when you pull the club out of the bag. Uh, I know a lot of people uh, comment about that from the PGA Tour. And that's fine if that's where you believe that it really starts. You can, you can certainly go with that because we each have our own little trigger. My trigger is actually the moment that my mind is made up what the ball flight is going to be like. Everything else is about process to me. So the first thing that I'm going to be thinking about before I even get started is what does my ball flight need to be? Okay? So whether I'm going to hit a, a draw, a fade, a straight shot, low, high, what is the shot that I need to have? Once I've got that mental picture in my mind of what it is that I want the ball to do, I'm going to go ahead and stand behind the ball, okay? And I'm going to try to focus and, and get an idea what is this ball flight going to do in the air as it's flying, okay? So I'm going to really develop this mental picture. Okay, now that I've decided it's going to be a draw, what do I need to do? What is it going to look like for me to do that? Now that I've got the ball flight in my mind, what I want it to do, the next thing for me to do is to go ahead and stand beside the ball. And when I'm standing beside the ball, I'm going to go ahead and take my grip, okay? Now one of the things is while I'm taking my grip, notice that I'm holding the club up in the air. What this allows me to do is to keep the club face out in front of me in a much more uh, easier to identify manner, okay? It, it's, it's in a place that I can really see. And notice that if I turn the club face like this, okay, now I can very, very clearly see that that club face is going off at an angle. Now, if my plan is to hit a draw for this shot, that's what I want to do. I actually want to kind of have that club face turned a little bit. So while the club is up in the air, it really helps me to identify that I'm going to hit that draw shot. Okay? Then I can change my grip so that if I want it to be fa a fade, I'll go ahead and open that club face up. Okay? You notice how the top line is now going across a little bit. Okay? But I'm going to go ahead and... This, for this shot, I'm just going to go ahead and hit a small little draw. So I'm going to turn the club face a little bit so that it's closed. Okay? Not very much, just a little bit because I want to hit a nice little draw. Okay, now, still keeping that idea of what the, what the image is that I want for that ball flight to be. And now that I've got my grip that matches that ball flight, I'm going to stand beside the ball here. And I'm going to take a couple of just normal practice swings, okay? And again, I'm going to keep that image of the draw shot that I'm planning on hitting towards my target. I'm going to keep that in mind, and I'm going to, I'm going to imagine that ball flight during that practice swing just drew a little bit, okay? Now I might take a, at least one more swing that I like to close my eyes on. I like to have my eyes closed for at least one swing, still imagining that same draw shot and staying relaxed, okay? So at least one of my practice swings I like to have my eyes closed. Now you can take as many practice swings as you want. I do recommend that you stay consistent with them. If you have two, stick with two. If you have three, stick with three. I believe Chip Chuck Beck at one time had like 20, okay? It's okay. You can take as many practice swings as you want, but stay consistent with it. Okay? Now, the next thing is, once I've got my grip, okay, and I've taken my practice swings, at least one with my eyes closed, trying to imagine that same ball flight, the next thing I'm going to do is I'm going to set the club face behind the ball square to my target. Now, it's very important that you set the club face first. It's very important you set the club face first. If you set your feet first, you're likely to be out of off of your target that you're looking for. Because optically, this is a lot more difficult for us to determine where our aim is. But when this club face is out in front of us, and we stand over it, and we look at it like this, we can get a pretty good visual acuity for what that, what that club face is square to, okay? So the first thing that we're going to do is we're going to set the club face 
to our target. Okay? Now, without looking at my target, because now that I've got the club face square to my target, the next thing is to set my feet. Okay? And I'm going to get my feet to the point where my grip is relaxed, that I'm not having to manipulate it. I never moved the club face. The club face stayed right where it was. It never changed where it was aimed. Okay? I'm going to set my body so that now, since I'm hitting a draw shot, I'm slightly closed. Okay? So always, always, always set the club face first, then your feet. And I don't even care what the target is like now, because everything should be all right. Once that club face is square to the target, that's all that matters. My feet, wherever they go, if I'm hitting a draw, they should automatically, because I'm setting my grip to be, to be relaxed, wherever my feet go is where they should be going, okay? And I should not be worried about the target at all. Now, once I've taken my stance, I've gotten that club face square, I've taken my stance, and now I'm ready to go, you just get up and go. Don't stand here and wait. Don't try to prepare your mind for it. You've already visualized this shot a million times in your head as it is. So just get up there and just go. All right, so let me go ahead and take you through this process one more time. Again, this is the setup routine. Okay, the first thing that we're gonna do is we're gonna stand behind the ball. We're gonna start to visualize what it is we want the ball to do in the air. In this particular case, this time I'm gonna try to hit a straight shot, okay? Now all that that really means is that I, my visualization and my grip are gonna be a little different. So, I'm visualizing this shot, it's straighter up my target, okay? Now, once I've got that visualization of the image, I've got that visualization of the shot in my mind, I'm gonna go ahead and step around to the side of the ball, okay? I'm gonna go ahead and take my grip, I'm going to make sure it's neutral. Again, I got that club face out here in front of me to make sure that I have a neutral grip. Okay? Now, I'm going to go ahead and take a couple of practice swings. One with my eyes open, imagining the shot. One with my eyes closed. Again, imagining the shot. I'm going to go ahead and step up, put the club face to the target, square, set my feet so that my arms are nice and relaxed, and then go.